in the kitchen here with Jasper. Welcome back. By the way, you were uh, in Northern California, Alaska, enjoying yeah, the sunset. Yeah, had a great trip. Did some yeah. cooking classes on the uh, on an ocean liner, so it was oh, nice. Nice time. Beautiful. But part good of to the be country. back in the studio, yeah, though. Yeah. So today, what we're gonna do? Uh, these are great dishes, especially for the summertime, because oh, yeah. it involves melon, and that's that's pretty local light. melon. How yeah. about that? Athena yeah. melon. Let me see that. And, and, yeah. and what's the difference between this kind of melon and just the regular melon? Well, you have so many melons out there, right? You have canary, you have Athena, you have the Crenshaw, you have the cantaloupe, of course, the watermelon. But if you're going to cook with something, you want something a little heavier, yeah. like this right here, like the Athena or the okay. cantaloupe, or uh, maybe even the Crenshaw. But the watermelons, they'll kind of, uh, they'll kind of be they're a little too soft, and you right. can't cook with them as so well. So this is good Athena me uh, melon, local, because it's thicker. Oh, yeah, it's thicker, right, and it's got a little more with. body to it. But it's great flavor, unbelievable yeah. flavor, and that's All what right. we're looking for. So, yeah, try some of that, yeah, please. Yeah, totally will. Okay, now, how about this? I've done this before. This is kind of new to you, though, mm -hmm. and people know me around Kansas City. Pasta with the melon. Mm. And you're going to say, it's is, unusual. He, is he crazy? But yeah. no, it's really a good dish to have um, and to prepare. And it's very, very simple. And we have this on the menu at Jasper's for many, many years. It's been on my, uh, it's actually been in Cook's Magazine. It's been featured. So let's just start with that. We get some butter. We saute a little bit of prosciutto ham. And we put some of the melon in the pan with that, okay? So how simple is that? I have never seen yeah. anyone cook with melon before. Now so you see is... why we need a heavier duty melon here. Because you, you, you kind of want it to hold up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. A little cracked pepper. It tastes exactly like any other melon, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. So we'll just saute that very quickly. In the meantime, I want to do a little dish, and it's called a carpaccio, made famous by the Venetian painter because the colors look like a carp, like the carpaccio, like the, uh, the artist himself. Okay. And... Here it is. Now, instead of meat, which usually have beef on there, or salmon for mm -hmm. the carpaccio, I did it with local melon. How about that? And it's sliced very, very thin. Very, very thin. Yeah, you can just yeah. do it very thin. Okay. And what I like to do now, I put on here, how about this, some crispy prosciutto ham. Mm, that's good. So this is called, actually, I'm doing a prosciutto experience next Monday night at my restaurant. It's all about prosciutto from the first course until the ending, including the dessert, with prosciutto ham. You can put prosciutto ham in anything. Yeah, exactly. And so, so good. And look at this. All we have to do with this, the melon, the prosciutto, and we just drizzle a little bit of the balsamic, balsamic glaze right on top of this. Hold that for you. Go ahead. There yeah. you go. And this is why we call it carpaccio. You see that? Mm -hmm. Is that simple? And, and you got a little maybe, artistic uh, style yeah. to it there. How about this? A little bit of chives on there. Okay. You have a simple dish you can make it's in less appetizer. than two minutes. Yeah. It really is. It's nice. Yeah. So, And we also have a salad. Now, this is still cooking here, so we're not going to forget about that, but we have about another 30 seconds on that. Are you mainly cooking just the ham? Just That's the ham you want to cook down. Yeah, the, melon totally will, the melon. melon will cook very quickly. Okay. How about this? The fresh melon. Let's put some Crispy prosciutto on that right there. Prosciutto goes great with everything, like you said. It does. Just yeah. right on top. But yeah. something a little different. This should make a prosciutto drink. Oh, yeah. How about it? Mm. Well, hey, that's a great idea. Mm. Maybe with a little bit of Prosecco. Yeah. But some feta cheese right on top of this. Oh, wow. And then we're just going to drizzle, and you can do that yourself, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right on top of that. You have the olive oil Put right there. Put some olive oil on top. And how much do you want me to put on top? Uh, just drizzle. You know, okay. it's up to you. All right. A little cracked pepper on that. Yeah. Some more chives oh. or you can put fresh mint you have a simple salad again if you like it sweeter a little bit of this balsamic glaze it's just uh -huh. balsamic that's cooked down and then very quickly we just want to finish our pasta here we're almost done this is going to cook down in just 30 seconds right now we add the heavy cream we add a little bit of cheese okay and we add our pasta to the dish and okay. that is it that's pasta it. with the melon it is such a oh, simple wow. dish to prepare give it a couple okay. tosses add a little cracked pepper Perfect. some fresh mint or chives and you have a great dish. That's all it. melon, all prosciutto ham. How and about here's it? how it looks right there. Exactly like that. Love it, Jasper. Enjoy. Yeah, Thank thanks, you. man. It looks very good. If you want to get the recipe, just go to NBCActionNews.com. What a great summer recipe. You're hanging out in the backyard, and, and it's a very light dish, too, with melons.